Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. So we're playing with the Kaiserreich mod is Cis Lithuanian Austria. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, get ready to prepare for the war uh, with the German Empire and their very large uh, faction that just completely fucking surrounds us. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys, but of course, remember, we have increased the size of our faction. Yeah, look at that, just glorious. Remember, these guys are going to be joining our faction soon, and, you know, we have Russia in the faction, and... Huh, okay. Um, Alright, I was thinking the Mongolians um, are part of a faction with the Russian Empire. That's weird. Huh. No, it says that they're in the Mongol Alliance. Okay. I don't I don't know what what's going on here with these guys. Uh, they currently have a non-aggression pact with um, the, the German uh, thing there. They are currently occupied. Okay, that's interesting. They're an occupied puppet of uh, Russia. Huh. Yeah, that sounds really interesting, but they're not part of Russia's faction. Okay, that's that's weird. All right, well, um, one one thing that I wanted to point out before we get started here is that Egypt is currently about to do the demand the Suez. Uh, remember, Germany controls the Suez right now, so we might see conflict between the Axis faction. Which just take a look at the factions here between the Axis faction and Germany, uh, which would be excellent. Germany would be ganged up on by uh, four different factions. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be huge, guys. Uh, so what we want to go ahead and do, and by the way, I am recording this episode, um, you know, back to back with the last one. I haven't seen any uh, comments from that last one just yet, because obviously I haven't put it out yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get prepared here. Uh, we need to move all these blue units over this way if we're really gonna be able to do anything with them just yet. Uh, what we're gonna do with the purple army? Um, first of all, we're gonna take. This, it's only one cavalry division. All right, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I was going to do something different, but yeah, it's not even necessary. There's only one cavalry division over here. Uh, no reason to keep these guys over here any longer because we're going to be, uh, you know, building new lines and stuff. Uh, I want them to be on this front with the Ukrainians. It's going to be largely a de front, defensive front. Uh, they're not going to be attacking at all. We'll give them a bonus, you know, let them plan or whatever for right now. Um, but it's it's not going to actually be used. Uh, we're not actually going to be attacking the Ukrainians unless there's just nobody on the border. Probably not even then, though. I think we're going to focus on uh, having a nice entrenchment bonus. Uh, so that's what those 25 divisions they are going to be doing. They're going to be protecting that. While our main armies are going to be assembling all on these fronts here, uh, we need to build up the Red Army a bit more. It, it currently only has 15 divisions, so we're going to need to increase the numbers there. Uh, we're going to bring one of these guys over to that front, and then another one over to this one, I think. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Uh, try and get four divisions on that side, on the mountain side. Remember, we're going to need a lot of mountain troops over here. Uh, how many mountain troops does that put into the Red Army? We have one. Uh, two, three, four, five. All right, I want to get one more mountain division over there. We need to build some more mountain troops. All right, so now we know. We need mountain troops. we got to try and remember that shit. Uh, we're going to put these guys over here on that one. Um, and that puts them up to 18. I would like to get them fully, uh, full 24 division over there. So let's go ahead and get them. I think infantry is what I believe would be the best move here. They are short on tanks, so actually let's... Let's give them some tanks. They're going to need a couple tanks at the very least. Uh, a couple new ones um, here. We'll give them um, We'll give them one on this side of things and then one on the other side of things there. All right. Put them on over to here. Excellent. Beautiful. Um, who do we have training right now? We have Marines currently training. Uh, so, yeah, we do need mountain troops. I think we're going to need more tanks if we don't have those training either. Uh, and then the rest of these infantry here, we're going to be uh, bringing them over to right here for right now. Uh, and we're going to get them getting on these lines very, very soon. Um, I want to see what happens over here first. I want to bring this blue army over here as well. Uh, but what we're going to be doing, uh, let's just let this play. Um, Speed it up to speed four for right now as all these guys kind of move around. Conquest of Anatolia. Oh, this thing is going to keep popping up here. Um, okay, well, I want to restore the the Ottoman Sultan to his throne. <laughs> I can't. Well, let me do it. Fate of Portugal. So we can restore the Kingdom of Portugal. Um, or we can liberate a Portuguese Republic. I think we need to restore the Kingdom. We need more Kingdoms. Now, we're going to restore the Kingdom in Portugal. Any minute now. Uh, so, yeah, that's taking them a bit of time. Um, the fate of, of uh, Angola. Oh, okay. So we uh, can actually form the state of Angola. Interesting. All right. I um, actually wasn't uh, expecting that to have its own, uh, to have for them to have their own, uh, you know, country here for them. Yeah, for both of these. All right. Well, we're not going to occupy them. I don't think that would be the best option. Although I kind of want to take a look at the resources real quick. Uh, just kind of see what they have here. Um, they have nothing. <laughs> no resources really. All right, so yeah, we're not getting losing anything, just some factories. What about on this side of things? I think there should be something here, right? 
nope, no resources. All right, we're not losing anything. All right, so yeah, we're going to have uh, quite a few puppets over here. So let's form the state of Angola. And then uh, Mozambique as well. Um, form the state of Mozambique. All right, awesome. So that's finished up. Uh, and then now we also have these ones as well. Where Where is this one at? Um, is that right there? I believe so. Um, they don't have anything either. Uh, sure, let's, let's form this state here. And then we'll finally get the deal with Spain. Um, although that wasn't, huh? I wonder who that who that is then. Okay, that's right here. Interesting. Do we get to keep this one because they don't have a um, there's no puppet or anything? I think we do get to keep that one. Uh, and this is German territory. We're probably gonna send like one division to hold that. Although it really doesn't matter if I'm being honest, guys. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. I don't really care if they take that. There's no reason to be putting a whole division over there just to defend that. I don't have any plans on fighting in Africa at the moment. Uh, we also have this over here that we got from uh, Spain, but I believe that should no. This is Morocco. No, this probably won't go to Spain. I guess we we'll get to keep that. All right, so we actually have a little bit of territory in Spain. That's interesting. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We can restore control of the Kingdom of Spain, establish an independent Spanish Republic, continue the occupation. We'll decide about that later, or partition the Spanish mainland. Oh. Wow, look at that. We can split it up. Well, I don't want to do that. Um, I want a strong Spain. Uh, and it's going to be the Kingdom of Spain, of course. Why would it not be? Yeah, we like restoring monarchies up in here, man. All right, come on any day now. It does take a while for them to assign all this. I'm curious. I, I'm going to take a while. I guess we're going to get to keep all these islands here. Um, hmm. It seems to have frozen the fucking game. They're having a lot of trouble dealing with freeing Spain. Uh, but yeah, Spain is now um, in our puppet state, uh, as is uh, the Portuguese. Uh, and then we also have, you know, these African colonies, three of them. Um, yeah, they're all our friends as well. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, then taking a look here, it looks like we're going to get to keep that. Spain does, of course, have the Canary Islands. I'm going to guess uh, the Azores is in Portugal, Portuguese hands, it is. And we do have this one, though. All right. Um, I don't think we're going to protect that either. I'm probably just going to let the Germans take this shit. I just don't, I don't care, man. I mean, you know what we could do? We could just free port, uh, I don't know if it'll allow us to, um, but I'm thinking we should just free uh, Morocco here and release them too. I'm fine releasing both of these guys. Oh, and we have territory, interesting, that's right. Uh, conquering Portugal gave us a shit ton of things. I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, they have a little, little uh, spot right here. Um, I kind of want to keep that though, just for the naval base. Uh, to have a naval base here. Uh, I think we will keep that, in fact. Um, this In Africa here, we're just going to lose them. So here we're protected by the Dominion of India. So I think we should just free them. Yeah, let's do that, guys. Let's manage occupied territories. So let's release Morocco. Release the puppet. Yes, sir. Um, let's release them. It's going to take a little minute here. Uh, so now Morocco is our, our friends and pals. Um, hmm. We can return territory. I don't, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to return territory, um, but yeah, we could if we wanted to. We have a few uh, different little settlements here. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Let's first release these guys. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want them. Um, I don't want to run that myself. Uh, so yeah, we have um, a state right here. Uh, this we could return to Indonesia if we so desired. Uh, we're not really getting anything from it, but we'll keep it. Um, it gives us a, a port over there. Uh, we don't really have to worry about. Well, we actually do. The Indonesians are fact in the are in fact in the German uh, faction, so we do have to worry about that. Uh, they can take that from us, uh, but whatever. I don't. I don't care. Um, over here, and then of course, yes, we have some uh, some colonies um, in uh, China here as well. Got a little colony there. Uh, that once again, the Germans will just put a seize from us if they so desire. But I don't. I don't really want to. To give it back um isn't let me just see here i believe yeah these are yeah these are all german factions i'm not giving not giving them shit uh we could give something to them as well i noticed that that we can give them something uh, let me just take a look here we just got to manage all these these fucking territories guys all right well we could give this to them to the japanese but uh, i'm not really interested in giving anything up to another faction nope we're gonna keep them uh we'll keep them for the ports I suppose if we ever end up fighting in, in uh, you know, the Pacific, I, I don't know what's going to end up happening. We're just going to have to see, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so, yeah, just so many things that could end up happening. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Um, oh, yes, that's right. We probably got to manage. Yeah, we got all kinds of fucking issues here. Uh, we should probably manage them. We're going to have to manage our factories. Well, I bet our factories are going to be all fucked up, too. Yep, yes, sir, because uh, we had all those factories from... Um, 
you know, from, from when we had Spain under our control. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and see how we're looking on the resources. Um, we don't need as many as we're currently trading for. Uh, so let's go ahead and reduce these some. We need to build some shit. Uh, we need, um, yeah, civilian factory situation. We don't have as many. Uh, so we need to go ahead and build the air base up over here. We're gonna need more airplanes. Uh, we're gonna build that up like, yeah, like that. I think we're gonna put it up to six. We already have one on this side of things. Don't need another one. Uh, looking pretty good over here as well. I I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be enough the air bases that we have over there. Uh, we do want to go ahead and get ourselves some radar stations. Any bonus that we can get is gonna be absolutely fucking needed, man. Uh, although I think we do, uh, we're gonna dominate the airs. I think we do have more planes than the Germans do. As far as other things like uh, infrastructure and shit, um, I mean, we could probably, yeah, let's build this up as well. Just get, I we don't need that one uh, built up, but we're gonna build that one up, uh, get that up to, to six at the very least. Uh, we're gonna take that down to the bottom. Uh, and yeah, I think that's probably looking good, guys, uh, for right now. Um, that will work. All right, let's just go ahead and let these guys do their damn things, move all around. We'll get our planes stationed a little bit later. That's not really a priority. Let's first get our troops stationed everywhere. Uh, we did finish some research over here. I believe that's our artillery. Uh, very helpful. We are gonna be entering into 1943 soon. Uh, I wonder how many tanks the Germans have on our borders. Can't even see because they don't have any troops over there just yet. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait before we're really able to see what we got going there. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do here is see how much we can cover with the blue army before we assemble another army here uh, So I can figure out exactly what we need there. Uh, we can go and switch the artillery up over here. I knew that was coming soon um, And we still have some unfulfilled import requests that we're gonna have to fix up there We're gonna get our uh, support companies caught up because we are falling the fuck behind here So let's let's get the uh, these guys improved a bit. All right. Awesome. So uh, I believe we're good to go. Let's let's put it on speed five. We need to spend our air experience as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now and also our unfulfilled uh, issues here. Uh, who is it with? It's with these guys. Apparently they can't meet our needs. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll have to trade with steel for somebody else. Does anybody else have any? Ah, steel is such a fucking problem, man. Um, yeah, why is it now is it saying that they can trade with us? Well, we can get all this from from Spain. So there's yeah, that's that's fine uh, We're gonna be uh, we're gonna have an excess of of steel now We actually need to take a look at our, our puppets and see what they have to offer us. All right Well, we got some eh, it's, it's a little bit better. We have a little bit more uh, Civilian factories for our own personal use now All right, so we're still waiting on uh, Some troops here. Uh, these guys can come on over here get assembling um, just taking a look and we don't want to work on that, uh, that claim just yet. It's not time yet, guys. It is not time. Oh, yes, that is right. Uh, we need to take a look at our troops here. Uh, we're building a ton of medium armor, but we need more, um, uh, what is going on here? Why is shit so fucking slow? I don't know if something was going on in the background or something's going on in my, uh, on my computer. I hope that's not the case. Uh, so what we want to go ahead and do is, let me just see here. Um, we want... We, we do want more mountain troops. I feel like we don't have enough of those. Uh, we're gonna build some more of those. Let's get, uh, like, I don't know, probably not a ton more. We're gonna get five. I kinda wanna focus on some other stuff right now. Uh, we have a lot of infantry, but we're still gonna build more of those because you never can have too much infantry, of course. Uh, so let's build like 10 infantry divisions. Uh, and then we're going to get um, more light tanks. That's what I really, really want. Um, I want more light tanks here. It seems that we're short something on the light tanks. What is it? What is it that we're short? Oh, we're short motorized. Oh, wow. They need a ton of motorized. Oh, that's right. Um, that's not gonna matter because we're gonna be changing that up soon uh, over to mechanized. Uh, we can change a few of them out right now. We can't change enough though. Uh, can't change them all out, unfortunately. All right, well, we'll do that uh, for right now. That'll drastically reduce the amount of motorized that we need for our tanks. Um, so that'll be helpful. And in fact, I think we can actually take a lot of factories out of motorized soon once we do this. Uh, and then what else do we need? We need, we're gonna need some, uh, some, uh, cavalry troops, uh, for occupation. Definitely gonna need to get some of these guys. We'll get, uh, I think we're gonna get like a, t yeah, like a ton of them. I should get 20 of these guys. We're gonna need them. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, there's something else I said that we needed. Uh, was it? Okay, I think it was just light tanks. I think that's all, all, all we really needed right now. Um, yeah, let's let's go 15. It's fine. I know that we're short a lot of things, um, but it's okay, guys. We'll, we'll slowly get them, get it to them. Whoa, wait a minute. We're gonna be short infantry equipment. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. All right, we'll just do 12. All right, let's go and get these guys uh, moving to the uh, training army here as soon as they're done. Uh, just building up a lot of units. I know, guys. This is why I'm kind of saying, like, Maybe taking a, a episode to just focus on uh, building up 
um, for this this war here. Uh, I mean, we've been building up for a while, but uh, you know, building up even more would be really useful. Um, these guys, we can have them drain up for now, I suppose. It doesn't matter. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, these guys are all set to go. Uh, then, yeah, I think we need to, I thought we had multiple fleets here. Oh, we moved these ones to the wrong fleet. All right, we need to move them over there. All right, um, we also have the submarines over here. We've got a nice little submarine fleet going. We also have some military factories uh, that we can assign. All right, I think that that's gonna have to work right now, guys. Yeah, that's just gonna have to work. That's where we're at right now. Okay, um, we'll just build up, continue building. Uh, so, um, let me just take a look at the resource situation now that we change that up. Kingdom of Spain has more. All right, let's get uh, more steel from them. All right, excellent. Uh, who else has some steel to give to us? Uh, American Union State, we can trade with them. Uh, we'll get one more from them. All right, awesome. And we're trading for too much oil, so let's go ahead and pull that back. Uh, we're going to stop trading with uh, Pacific States, so we're not relying on them as much. Uh, Sweden just won against the Norwegian Socialist Republic. Ha! Uh, the, the Nords, they, they, they started, Norwegians, they started this attack you know, to try and sped, spread their uh, their ideology, and then they ended up losing. That's pretty salty. All right. Uh, I believe we should have our, our blue army here, right? Oh, damn, I never sent them. Oh, that's fucking salty as hell. We've just been sitting here. <laughs> so let's get these guys going uh, into the port. Uh, we can go ahead and combine all these fleets again. Uh, that's our current uh, fleet that we're rocking right now. Still got plenty of fleet capacity. Uh, and, yeah, it's looking respectable. It's a respectable navy, guys, um, especially for Austria. 32 to 41 ships over here in Germany. Um, I don't know how many exactly we have. Let's just take a look. We have 90 ships. That is not bad for Austria. Man, the time is moving slow as fuck. I mean, part of that's when it's saving. I never did spend my army in my air experience, by the way, guys. I think we should do that. As soon as we get this national focus, I will forget it. Um, so <laughs> let me uh, let me get the national focus so that I can forget. Um, we don't really, we're not really building battle cruisers or battleships. Um, and that's just a reduced head of, ahead of time penalty. Uh, so I don't I don't think we're gonna get any of this just yet. No, I think we're, we're done on that branch for right now. Uh, but we need the steel, so I think we should work on this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Austrian uh, Austrian civilian economy. Get three more civilian uh, factories, that's gonna be helpful. We need more civilian factories. All right, so as soon as this blue army gets over here, we're gonna assign them. Let me see what we can, where we can uh, put them just for right now. Let me see. Uh, we currently have one, two, three, Four. So this is not really uh, the ones we want in the mountains. Um, and these guys aren't really all that mountain oriented either. All right. Um, I think the blue troops are going to come over here. Um, so we're going to want them assigned. Oh, I don't know. Let's just take a look. Probably all across here. Um, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. That's probably a wider front than we want. Um, but yeah, I think we are going to have to have them do that. Uh, I think that's going to be the only option. Yep, I think they're going to have to be um, across here. All right, um, that's fine. Uh, then we're going to have another army that's going to be right here, and there's going to be another one right here. Maybe they can cover a bit more. Yeah, they could probably cover a bit more. All right, we'll do that. Um, we'll uh, get them going down there. So let's, um, and then we're going to be using those tanks for something different, guys. Uh, can't get that yet. Uh, that's 1944. Uh, we are close enough to 1943. We can go and get 1943 techs. Let's start working on industry. Let's improve our industry. Let's get the factories outputting more. Uh, get more out of each factory. Uh, definitely need it. Uh, let's go and get these guys over to twos. All right, excellent. Um, and that is going to require more steel. Oh, 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 oh. I love the steel situation we're in. Oh, it's so good. So juicy. Um, we can get some more from these guys. Uh, what are, what do we need now? We, we are, um, trading for too much. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we're getting it all from, from Portugal. Okay. So can't really fix that. Uh, I guess we're going to have to trade. <sighs> yeah, this situation is shitty. Uh, we're going to have to trade with kingdom of Thailand. We'll trade with them and we're still short. So we'll have to trade with the Norwegian socialists. Oh, okay. They're free now. Uh, we'll trade with them and yeah, that'll just have to do. That'll just have to do. All right, so what we got over here was the strategic bombers. We're going to want to get those building. Um, not like we have a ton of factories to really invest in that right now. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done, though, guys. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead. I wish I would gotten this radar station. I kind of feel like we'll, we'll wait until we get the decryption, and then I'll get the radar stations. Uh, let's focus on um, this stuff. Let's get construction, mainly because I want to get excavation because of our resource situation. is just so terrible. 
It's terrible, guys. Um, so let's pay attention to these guys. The Marines are going to be done soon. What are we going to do with the Marines? We're going to set up a naval invasion. Uh, they're going to be invading Italy. Um, from the south here. Uh, probably, I'm probably not even going to mess with Sicily. We're just going to invade Italy. Uh, we can come down here and, and take Sicily later. Uh, big focus in the beginning of the war is going to be Italy, guys. As you can see, we already got a ton of divisions assigned over here. Uh, that is going to be a massive emphasis. Um, we actually need to give them some more troops. They don't have enough. Nope, not enough divisions yet. So let's give them some infantry. Oh, did I say I was going to give them tanks? I think it did. We have one, two, three, four. We only have four tanks over there. Let's give them another tank. Um, let's give them um, one over here. And then we're going to give them, I guess, uh, infantry on this side of things. And can that be extended? It can. All right, awesome. Uh, and then we're going to give them uh, two more infantry, I think. Two more. Just give me, damn it, uh, just give me two of these guys. Just two of them. Awesome. So they'll go ahead and we got 24 divisions now assigned over there. Uh, that will work. Uh, let's go and get our civilian factories assigned working. I'm surprised they got all that done already. That was quick. Nice. Good job, guys. Proud of you. Uh, we are going to work on, and we almost have, we'll have full radar coverage here. Uh, so we're not going to mess with that. Um, we just don't have a uh, large enough radars yet. Um, so yeah, we have to, we have to get better radars. Uh, so our air bases I think are good. Uh, oh, we need to build this air base up. That is not going to be enough. Uh, so let's build, I don't think they're going to be taking territory for us. So let's build right there. We're going to build two military factories over there. I, I say they're not going to take any territory. Watch them fucking destroy me. All right. So we're actually done with oh, almost everybody. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, so let's take all the infantry here and pull them out because they're all done. Pull those guys out. Get them going over here. Uh, we got a massive army, guys. This is awesome. Uh, then we're going to pull these guys out. And they're going to be coming uh, over to one of these ports here. I guess we're going to invade the south. So going to the southern port would probably be the best idea. We've already kind of built it up a bit, too. So let's build all those guys or get all those guys coming down here. Uh, why can't they go down there? They don't have, oh, they don't have their a high enough organization yet. Okay, we'll wait. Uh, still waiting on these five tanks to build up over here as well. Uh, we did finish researching something over here. I think it was the Field Hospital 3s. I forgot my fucking timer again, guys. I'm so sick of doing that shit. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to do it, man. If I could, only I could use action, it sure would be nice. Uh, we want to get, um, let's get Logistic Company 3s because we do have those in a lot of our units. Uh, and then, uh, and just, okay, rubber is the only thing that we're short. Oh, God, we got more unfulfilled requests here. What the fuck, man? All right, um, we want to bring that down. All right, so they just don't have the, the rubber that they used to have for us. Uh, but we can get this from the, the Kingdom of Thailand to fix this situation. All right, excellent. Uh, so I, oh, I keep forgetting the planes. The planes, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys uh, building up. I think we're going to focus on fighters. Uh, yeah, we're not even close to 1944. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a a uh, variant of the fighters. These are Mark Ones, um, but I, I want our fighters to be really, really good. Uh, so let's create another variant of them. Uh, let's build up the reliability. Let's build up the range just a little bit. Um, you know what? Actually, come to think about it, I don't really feel like they need the range right now. Uh, let's do weapons and engines. All right, this is what we're going to do, guys. These guys are looking good. Here's our Mark Twos. All right, let's go ahead and uh, uh, make the Mark Ones decommission them and get the mark twos uh you know building up it's awesome all right so we're gonna have even better fighters uh used up our experience got a little bit of navy experience but it's not enough to really do anything with uh, at the moment we do have our blue army over here let's go and get these guys assigned uh we're gonna bring them um like i said i think it's gonna be like this and let's see how they look uh and then we're gonna go ahead and create a new army that's gonna be largely just I'm thinking it's just going to be mostly infantry and, and mountain troops. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and put the mountain troops into an army here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change these up as well. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be Germany now. Germany. Um, although, huh? Yeah. I completely forgot the fact that, uh, what we'll do here. Yeah, let's change this up. Italy and France <laughs> so that we can have, uh, two theaters here um and then the uh these guys they're going to be in the german theater and these guys will be in the french theater and then when we create our marine army which we'll do as soon as they can get down there uh we'll put them down here now all right awesome uh and then the uh this army here we need to give them a color uh we will color them we do not have a dark purple looking army so let's give them that uh they're gonna be just kind of scroll through here you know they could be yellow actually that's just a little cleaner color no they're not gonna be peasants uh we'll give them 
kind of see what we have here. Uh, they could be the, that would be the equals sign. <laughs> we'll give them that. Uh, we're going to need to give them some troops as well. They don't hardly have anything. We'll give them like two tank units, I think. That's all they're getting. Uh, just two tanks. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and give them some infantry to fill it in. Uh, however many we have to fill in. Uh, we're going to need, um, we're going to need 19 divisions. All right. Uh, so we need to grab three more infantry divisions. It's okay. We have plenty of infantry. Whole lot of infantry, guys. No problem at all with this. All right, awesome. So these guys here will be covering this front right here. If once, if we get more mountain troops, then this is where they're going to be going, guys. All right, we'll take a look at that front. Uh, and then we're going to build another front over here for these troops to cover in between here. There's probably going to be these seven infantry divisions is what I'm thinking. It's going to be this tealish looking color. It's beautiful. All right, I know you like it. Um... And I want them to have their own unique icon, icon too, because yeah, they're our friends. They can spread love, spread love, guys. Uh, they will be on this front right here, this beautiful looking front. All right, just like so. All right, so that's gonna be their front. Uh, we'll get them off into lines here momentarily. Uh, I kind of need to see how we're looking um, once we get them all signed, because I'm probably gonna be adjusting it some. Uh, I need to know exactly where they're at. Uh, like I said, it's no rush. For, like we're gonna probably spend a whole episode here uh, just preparing for this. Uh, I think it would be a good ideal. Um, all right, looking good. Uh, I don't like that the blue the blue army does seem a little bit too stretched out, in my opinion, just a little bit. Uh, and I think we should have the yellow army covering this whole province here. So let's fix that. All right, that'll be a little bit better, I think, uh, a little bit better, because I really want these guys pushing forward towards Berlin. Um, yeah, uh, so I think having them be pretty strong over here would be nice. Now these tank units, what we're going to be doing, guys, with our tanks is we're going to be creating specialized, very fast uh, units tank made of tanks. And it would have been mechanized, but we don't have any fucking mechanized, so they won't be there. Um, but yeah, I, I did originally want to have some mechanized troops. Uh, that would have been nice. I guess we'll put one right here. Uh, I think that would be uh, useful. Uh, anywhere that we, yeah, let's build up the um, area here. I think that would be helpful and anywhere else no all right that should be good to go for right now uh, and let's take a look at our, our fronts here how are we doing um yellow army is looking pretty good um yeah I, I like where they're at right now uh blue army is looking good uh these guys obviously need more troops but we're training this up now so that's fine uh we got a lot of troops currently training up we can also buy something here but first let's do our lines guys um we want because we're probably gonna have to have some of these guys um i don't know they're, I, i'm assuming that we're gonna have, to have some of them uh, be, be controlled by the, the AI. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do it all ourselves. Um, you know, all these different fronts just doesn't make sense. So these guys, they're, this is, they're going to be their objective. Uh, come over this way for right now. Uh, and then the blue army, uh, you guys are going to be focusing on taking Berlin. So it makes sense if we pulled this back even further, I think, uh, so that they can really focus on, uh, their objective. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, so yeah, just come and take all that territory here that's what i want you guys to do uh and then yeah let's let's just bring it back a bit more like so yellow army just stretch them out it's okay you can handle it i believe in you um so yeah looking good um that'll work uh and then yeah we can also nice we got decryption we can go ahead and sped that that uh political power that we have uh so what i said we we're gonna get is get the better radar i think we need it um very helpful uh and then we're also going to get um the, what should we do? Chief, we're gonna do Chief of the Air Force. That makes more sense. All right, for me, it's it's really between. Um, there's a lot of great stuff here. If you guys want to see um, what we, all the options available to us, uh, but for me, it's really a choice between the air superiority doctrine or the battlefield support doctrine. Um, you know, this one's largely for your ground support troops, and this one is largely for your uh, fighters. Now, I, I'm really tempted to go with the fighters, guys. I, I really am. Um, I normally always want to give the bonuses for the fighters, uh, but. Uh, this is going to be better in the long run, uh, I think, um, and more helpful for our ground troops, which is where we really want to win. I, I think we are going to do this, guys. Let's get our, and just kind of look at the bonuses here, make sure that they're um, all the same for these guys, because there's multiple ones. All right, we have to select this one here. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. I think that this would be incredibly useful um, for our ground troops. And we do get an air, superior, air superiority bonus, um, while in this one, we don't, we don't get anything like that. So... So yeah, I, I know that this one's kind of, kind of better, um, in a way, you know, with the fighters and stuff. But we're gonna do this, guys. Uh, let's get him. Um, that's gonna help our air force a lot. Now all we have to do is get the navy guy, uh, and then we're gonna be good to go. Uh, good to go. All right. So I, like I said, I don't want to declare war on them yet. 
Um, I want to get, I want to get some of these fucking troops trained up. Honestly, um, I want to get some of these guys pumped out and training. I want to get those medium tanks. I feel like we're just not ready, guys, um, to fight Germany. Germany is extremely powerful. Um, yeah, I, I want to be, I want to be ready. I don't think there's, there's no benefit in us jumping into this. We can go and assign these guys here. Uh, why is there? Okay, they're all there. We can go ahead and give them an, a, a line as well. They're gonna take. I, I don't even know how much these guys will advance, uh, but yeah, we'll tell them like you know, take this just you know, just in case we do tell them to to march. All right, awesome. So yeah, they have their objective, uh, and yeah, I just feel like it would be worth it. That gave us civilian factories, nice. Um, so yeah, that'll be helpful. Uh, but to build a little bit quicker, um, what I want to go ahead and do is we are gonna go ahead and get the alpine mines. We desperately need that steel. Oh, we could use that steel. That's going to be incredibly helpful. Uh, we're not going to need to trade as much. Um, yeah, that's going to be nice, guys. Uh, but yeah, I really want more tanks because I want to get uh, armies that are built around the idea that we're going to... Uh, oh, engineer companies. Nice. Um, that we're going to have our, our mobile uh, armies help push through. We're going to give them, like, you know, bliss commands, uh, spearhead commands, or something like that. Um, what do we want to get next here? Uh, I think we, we could go maintenance companies. Um... I also want to get MPs though for those those cavalry units, but that's not really a priority. We don't even have experience for that. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna go anything on here. That's right. We're in 1943. What am I talking about? We need to get 1943 techs, don't we? Uh, which would we? Damn, we are so behind on fucking on ships and shit. We should probably get a ship. Um, let's get those destroyers. We have that nice bonus for them. Might as well. It's 39 days. Not gonna take a long time to get them. Uh, so we can at least build uh, better destroyers. Um, our airborne troops. That's right. We want to get these guys assigned. I'm going to attempt to drop uh, behind enemy lines here. I'm not quite sure how far they're going to be able to drop, but yeah, somewhere somewhere back here is where I'd like to get get our airborne troops um, and take some key victory points. You know, possibly it'd be really nice if we could shut this down. Um, yeah, take take all this area here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, guys. Um, let's let's at least get them going towards where they'll they'll be doing their order. Um, so let's get them going over there. Uh, and we'll need to give them some transport planes as well. Uh, we'll assign that now. Um, transport planes should be down here somewhere. Uh, we also have, have some strategic bombers already too. Um, nice. Oh, we need to get the strategic bombers building. Uh, so we're going to put all of those guys over there. Uh, we're going to increase their numbers a bit as well. Put them up to 50 here. And I know that we obviously don't have that. But eventually they'll get there. All right, awesome. So yeah, we'll have uh, 50, 50 planes there. Like that nice... Uh, even round number. Uh, oh yes, our uh, our planes. We need to get uh, strategic bombers twos. Um, we're gonna put them. Just kind of see where we want them. I guess we can put them, you know, right underneath the the naval bombers. Not a huge priority, uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and put these guys in here. Uh, how are we doing on on building stuff? I guess we're fine for right now. Um, and we, yeah, if we build some more military factories, we'll get that. It's not a huge priority right now. Um, the main reason why I got them so that we'd have them for uh, when the um, uh, for yeah, when we get our our, uh, our nukes. God damn! If I could talk today, uh, our nukes. Of course, that's what we want. Um, so once again, having fucking problems. Uh, let's trade with Japan. All right, we'll get those seven from them. That's that's not even close to enough. All right, we will have to trade with these guys. All right, give me that. Uh, that puts us, all right, that puts us, uh, you know, I think above. I don't think we even needed to trade for that. I think it just hadn't adjusted itself yet. All right, well, what? it's fine. I'm not going to mess with it. All right, so um, we're still waiting on these light tanks here. Uh, and that would give us eight light tanks to use for an army. Um, yeah, I, I think we're just going to wait, guys. Just prepare, continue building up. Uh, we could get these guys put in an army. That would be smart. Uh, Italy and France army, uh, and they're going to, we'll give them a commander later. I'm not too worried about commanders just yet. You can do like this weird looking color. Sure. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, we will give them a naval invasion order. They're going to do their naval invasion. They're going to strike just across the sea here. Real easy. Super simple. All right. And we'll do planes later. That's also not really a priority. We don't even have our, uh, war goal just yet. Uh, but I think it's going to be really quick. Yeah. It's 30 days. It's not a problem. Uh, so we'll, we'll focus on getting it when we know we're ready to declare war. Um, and we're just not there yet. I want to build up a bit more. Um, yeah, because uh, we got all these troop training, uh, a ton of them. I want to get some fucking medium tanks out in our armies, um, or at least out here, you know, training something. Give me something. Uh, but we don't really actually, we probably won't even need them, if I'm being honest. Uh, we're probably not going to need um, all those medium tanks. But 
yeah, I, I kind of want to have them anyways <laughs> because uh, I think uh, I think they might have tanks. It's hard to tell. It looks like all infantry, as I'm scrolling through here, from what I heard about this mod, is that they kind of have a problem where uh, it a lot of people don't use tanks, um, which interesting, kind of weird. Uh, how is Germany doing on their navy? 37 to 47. How about Italy? They have six. All right, we still kind of dominate the seas, which is good. Oh, we never we never did anything over here. What are these guys doing? Oh, our army got, what happened here? Oh, when we changed this up, it got messed up. Got it. All right. Um, let's just assign these guys. Uh, we are gonna give, um, let me just kind of see here. Uh, we will do maybe like tanks this way. Yeah, let's do tanks down on, onto this side of things. Two tanks over there. These guys actually need more troops. We're gonna have to give them some infantry. They don't have enough, uh, enough divisions at this moment. Uh, do we even have, we don't even have any spare infantry, do we? Nope, no spare infantry. They're just gonna have to wait until we get get some guys. Um, yeah, they'll wait. It's fine. Uh, not a big priority. This this front, if I'm being honest, not a big priority. Okay, so we have two divisions assigned to there. That's that those tank units. Um, we are going to. I think we have we have we have four ca uh, four mountain troops. I'm gonna leave them there. Uh, we actually have another tank somewhere. So let's let's assign that guy over here too. It's gonna be largely tanks on that side, and then like one infantry division. It's just gonna be really really rapid to take Bordeaux. Um, let me give this guy here. All right, so four divisions over there. I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, and everybody else will be on this side of things. We do need to give them orders though, don't we? Uh, give them an order uh, so they can start getting their planning bonus. Uh, they're gonna be uh, attacking up this way. It's nothing really ambitious here, guys. Just to uh, distract the French, I suppose. Also need to select these guys here, give them their order to take Bordeaux. Oops, there we go, awesome. So just nice little easy attack here. It's just the mountains that are kind of separating that, causing them some issues when it comes to the... Okay, awesome, we have these guys finished. Oh, though, those are all our medium tanks. So yeah, here's our lion units, guys. Uh, light tanks are finishing up as well. We got our destroyer threes. That was really quick, as expected. Uh, I have no idea where we're at in the episode because once again, I fucking forgot to start the damn timer. I am killing myself with that, man. Killing myself. Uh, do we want to get the last artillery? Um, what do we need over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, we need the infantry anti-tanks. Let's get that. Um, yeah, let's get that. I think that'd be helpful. Um, it, just in case we do run into any tanks, even though I'm not really seeing any tanks here, uh, our tanks might be able to just dominate them. Uh, I think we should get more military factories. Um, although, let me just see here. Do we have an air base to attack Italy from? Uh, I want this one right here. Let's build an air base here. Uh, I think that would be helpful. Um, and I mean, we could do a radar station, but it's not really all that helpful at the moment. No, not really. Um, got radar stations over there already. Uh, could build one here as well. Um, we'll build a radar station here uh, so that when um, we do get the next level of radar stations, we can make sure that we uh, uh, get that built up. Uh, I need a few more military factories, so let's go ahead and get those building. 70% uh, the best that we have right now. It's the way it seems. I mean, all this is our territory as well, and it's probably gonna remain our territory. But I am a little bit worried about losing it. So let's just build one over there on that 80%. Let's not build over here, just in case Ukraine gets kind of crazy over there. We're not gonna really have very good troops over there. So let's just build two more military factories for right now. Uh, once again, uh, oh, outdated equipment. Oh yes, our destroyer's here. Let's build one destroyer uh, on this, the twos, and then we'll start getting the threes going. All right, excellent. Um, so I think we're gonna get to the end of March here. Um, yeah, god damn, uh, these unfulfilled. Uh, it's just it's just the Americans, man. It causing me all kinds of fucking trouble. Yeah, uh, just all kinds of trouble. Um, all right, well it seems that we're not really short, um, so that's fine. Yeah, just just issues uh, when it comes to trying to trade with them makes me not want to trade with them anymore. Um, but do we have anybody done training yet? Are these tanks done yet? Not yet. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create this army here. Uh, they're going to be in the German army, uh, and they're going to be. Um, do we have a, like this color, um, kind of, this the, kind of close to the teal. Uh, let's see, does that, okay, they're not close to them. Uh, let's give them kind of cool looking thing here. Uh, they could be these, this this symbol here, that's awesome. Um, like I said, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna worry about uh, getting our uh, generals assigned just yet. We're gonna wait. Uh, so yeah, these guys are probably gonna be uh, attacking up this way, uh, trying to spearhead up over here. Um, man, I might even manually control the tanks just because it's quicker. Um, try and get a uh, breakthrough here. Uh, but remember, our tanks get some really nice bonuses. Uh, really gonna 
hopefully be able to wreck the Germans because it doesn't seem like they have any tanks to oppose us. Yeah, I'm not saying any tanks, just a bunch of inf Oh, there was one, saw one, uh, but it's, it's largely infantry. Uh, once again, having issues at how much you want to bet this is. Oh, no, maybe it was Spain, briefly. Okay, still waiting on these guys. I was gonna say as soon as it's, let's let's finish up here over here. Let's get these guys um, into this army. Oh, and got logistics the company three. All right, so I believe that we're gonna be done here. Um, all right, get these guys, all of them coming on over to here. Probably gonna attempt to blitz through over here to Berlin. Um, could also come over this way and cut off troops uh, defending in Munich. That's a possibility as well. Um, you know, because it'd be real, it wouldn't be too difficult to do that, I don't think. Yeah, that's that's one option as well. Uh, it's it's pretty easy terrain for them, unlike over here where we gotta get through those mountains. Maybe we should wait until they get through the mountains to use our tanks over there. I think we should. Let's try and get the troops surrounded here in Munich. There's a lot of them. Uh, we're gonna have a difficulty attacking there because of the mountains. Let's do that, guys. Let's get these guys behind them. I think that would be helpful. Uh, so, uh, we're going to go ahead and give them a small front, um, very small front just right here, and they're gonna be attempting to take Nuremberg. Um, I don't really like them that far though, um, excuse me, like that. Uh, I think that would be good. Uh, and then let's give them a, we're gonna give them a spearhead mission, though I think we're probably gonna manually control this. Um, and we want them to come uh, probably right, right here. Yeah, just like so. Uh, and then we will finish up training with these two tanks, and as soon as they're done, they're done. Awesome. Uh, we'll get them assigned, and there we go. Awesome. So we'll have eight tanks, eight, eight tanks, excuse me, assigned to that. Uh, and um, what did we finish here? Uh, I think we got the logistics company three. Let's get the artillery. Get their soft attack increase since we use them so heavily. Uh, so yeah, we're done here. We got a huge amount of troop training. A lot of those are the cavalry units. Uh, I also have a lot of infantry training up. The light tanks were still kind of waiting on some equipment. Uh, so that's kind of no, no, we're not waiting on equipment. They were waiting on equipment. Some of these might still be, but for the most part, they seem to got all of their units over here. All right, so uh, yeah, we, we've got a lot of troops over here training. Um, this is a total of 50 divisions, that's insane. 50 divisions training, we need to get some of them done because as you can see, we do not have the numbers yet. Um, our numbers are, are still kind of short. I don't really like the numbers that we have. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think we just declare war? Stop being pussies, <laughs> just declare war. Um, and, and fight as is, we'll, we'll of course assign all of our planes first. Um, we'll have to get our um, our war goal against them, obviously. So we're still, we're about a month out. Um, that'll be plenty of time to get the planes there. Uh, and then we'll just have to take troops from one of these other fronts to fill in this one, because as you can see, we have two or three provinces currently not manned. Uh, so we have to fill in this one here. They wouldn't be able to actually launch their attack or anything. Um, but yeah, I just don't feel like we have the numbers at this moment, uh, mainly because we're focusing so hardcore on Italy. Uh, once we get Italy knocked out, uh, we could probably focus on Germany. But man, I'm telling you what, guys, I would really like to uh, have some more of these troops trained up first. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to hear from you guys. Should we wait for the troops to train up? Um, it's going to be several months away. Uh, or should we just uh, you know, start working on the war goal and attack? Attack Germany next episode. Um, up to you guys. Um, because like I said, I think being cautious wouldn't be uh, a bad idea. Um, as excited as I am for the, the war, uh, this faction is fucking massive, guys. They're really large. Um, they have so many troops. Just the Germans alone have an insane amount of divisions. Um, and they have stomped everybody they fought so far. Ukrainians, we already know they're beasts. But, of course, we have the Russians here to help us this time uh, on this front. I don't know, guys. I, I feel like we're pretty fucking powerful right now. But remember, a lot of our, our puppets here don't have any divisions yet. That's another reason to wait. Um, these guys have zero divisions. They could just come in here. Portuguese have three. Um, yeah, but Spain has zero. They could just come over here and just run through them. Um, so yeah, I don't like that. The French would, or it's completely dependent on our own troops to defend Spain. I don't like that. They can launch naval invasions over here. We can't defend that. Uh, they knock, they can knock our, our allies out of the war. So I just feel like waiting would be wise. Um, just a few more months. So I want to hear you guys' opinion. Should we wait or should we go? Um, just post it down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was, you know, largely a preparation video, but I think we got a lot done. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, uh, leave that comment, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.